Happy Friday morning, Glads. I'm Kern McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, here's the lineup for scheduled college visits. Remember, you must have a pass from the Counseling Center to attend these visits. Check this out. The reps from Colorado Mesa University had to cancel their visit on Wednesday. And when they reschedule, we'll be sure to let you know. The reps from Fort Hayes State haven't rescheduled, but when they do, you'll be the first to know. We have a new visit scheduled on Wednesday, March 6th from PPCC. And then Adams State will be here on Thursday, March 7th. Juniors, on March 13th, the International Salon and Spa Academy's Area Vocational Program is hosting a parent night for WSD3 students from 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. at the ISA building at 5707 North Academy Boulevard. To enroll in this program, your parents have to be there too. If you would like more information about this cosmetology program, stop by the Counseling Center. Right before spring break on March 21st, the reps from the Paul Mitchell School will be here. Our April college visits kick off on the 17th when the Western Colorado University reps are scheduled to visit us. If you missed any days for these visits or want more information, stop by the Counseling Center or check their website. Seniors, if you ordered graduation announcements from Herf Jones, but you weren't able to pick them up last week, check with Mrs. Abeda in the Counseling Office. You will need a photo ID to pick up your orders. When we return from the break, we'll have the golden ticket video. But first, we're sending it to the sports desk for a Gladiator Sports update with Karen Doolittle. Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. We'd like to start out by extending a hearty congratulations to Frankie Ingraldi, who signed his letter of intent to play football for the University of Jamestown in North Dakota. Frankie will join the Knights in the fall. Make us proud, Frankie. Outside guest forms for the military ball are due today, so please get those in so your guests can attend the dance. Cadets, Remember, the ball is on March 16th at the Peterson Air Force Base Officers Club. If you have a military ID, you do not need to provide any additional information. If you do not have a military ID, you will need to provide your driver's license and state of issue to be allowed on the base. This is a formal event, and the uniform of the day is formal attire. Glads, we had several teams qualify members to upcoming state competitions in different sports, so listen up. If you are able to come out and support our athletes, they would certainly appreciate it. Check it out! The forensics team is hard at work preparing for their state competition next month. Casey Ringer, Taya Andrews, Sophie Berger, and Isabella Garcia will be traveling to Highlands Ranch for the competition at Mountain Vista High School. We will have results when they return with their hardware. For now, we're wishing them the best of luck. Our Lady Gladiator basketball team is headed to Bertha High School tonight to take on the Spartans in the second round of the 4A state tournament. The game is at 7 p.m. Our ladies have been working hard for this matchup and we know it will pay off. We will have results for you on Monday. On Wednesday night, our boys basketball team sealed their first playoff round in a squeaker over the Battle Mountain Huskies with a score of 62 to 59. The boys are headed just down the road tomorrow afternoon to take on the Indians at Cheyenne Mountain. The game is at 4 p.m. Go out and support the fellas and show the tribe how it's done. We'll have scores for you on Monday. In wrestling news, our Fab Five wrestlers started their state tournament journey yesterday at the Pepsi Center. At press time, here are a few results of those grapplers who have advanced to the next round. We hope to have more complete results for you on Monday. And now, here's Mr. Damon with today's Dose of Health on Peer Pressure. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health and today we're going to be talking about peer pressure. The definition for peer pressure is a feeling that one must do the same things as others of the same age group or social circles. What are some of the facts about peer pressure? 30% of teens feel that they are pressured to have sex. 70% of people who smoke cigarettes say that they started because their friends smoke. 55% of teens who tried drugs for the first time did so because of pressure from their peers. What are some of the dangers of peer pressure? Mentally, it creates a low self-esteem and that comes as a result of trying really hard to fit in. The sad fact is that for some of you, you still will not feel as though you fit in no matter how hard you try. So, some of the physical dangers of peer pressure. Teens expose themselves to risky behaviors because of peer pressure, including substance abuse, unprotected sex, 
unsafe driving practices, and mistreating others. So how to be above the influence of peer pressure. First thing you need to do is spend time considering the type of person that you want to be and let your actions be the fruit of those desires. Secondly, you need to choose your friends wisely. Statistics show that teens are very likely to get involved in the same actions that their friends are involved in, whether those be good or bad actions. As the famous saying goes, bad company corrupts good character. Number three, just say no. Stand firm in your resolve to not participate in certain actions that go against your values. Four, you can give reasons why you don't want to be involved in those specific activities. You can offer an alternative activity. And if not, be prepared to leave that situation. The reality is if they're truly your friends or truly care about you, they won't be pressuring you to do things that you're not comfortable with. It was C.C. Cummings who said, it takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. Thanks, guys. This is Damon's Dose of Health. Have a good day. Thanks, Mr. Damon. Those are some great tips on overcoming peer pressure. Spring sport athletes. Practices start on Monday, but if you do not have a yellow card, you cannot participate. Get those yellow cards in now in the main office and return them ASAP. You can also pick up a physical packet in the main office. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Kieran Doolittle. Now back to the desk with Corinne and Jeremiah. Thanks for the update, Kieran. Ladies, Becca's Closet just received a bunch of new dresses for you to select for the military ball or prom. Save yourself some money and choose your dress here by making an appointment with Miss Ford in room 122 or Miss HK in the library. Remember, the dresses are free and yours to keep. The library has some new changes and you should totally check them out, especially the new graphic novel section. Remember, the book club will be meeting today to discuss their novel called March, the first book in a trilogy based on the life of John Lewis. While you're in the library, check out all the fun selections at the book fair in the magazine. And now we're heading somewhere on campus for Miss Betsy's lunch menu. Live from Mrs. Griggs' room, it's... What for lunch? Hi, I can tell ya. With our special guest, Mr. Shub. How you doing, guys? Hey! I don't know what's for lunch. I didn't even I, look. I know, but I did. Did you? We're having super nachos today. So excited! Super nachos. And then on Monday, chili with cornbread. <gasps> super good. Full super days. Good. Cornbread. Gotcha. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye. 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 Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, remember you can leave any unopened food items in the milk crate on the table for other students to have. Also, if you need to add money to your account, please see Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or go online. Glads, check your classrooms for flyers with the dates and content for test prep sessions happening next week. Sign up in the library. Remember to stay tuned on Monday for Moose's Music Minute. We'll look forward to hearing Moose's pick for new bands and music to enjoy. And speaking of music, the musical theater production of Little Women will be on March 7th, 8th, and 9th at 7 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Tickets are $7 for students and $10 for adults. Come see how the March sisters handle life in the Civil War through music. We have a few reverse power tickets we'd like to share with you today. They came from an anonymous student to the NJROTC leadership. Check these out. This ticket is to Major Davis. Major Davis does more than just teach. He shows pride in his unit by making sure that we're successful in every way. He puts us first before himself. And this ticket is to Master Chief Malones. He has pushed me to realize that work is so worth it, even when no one else is doing that hard work. He pushes me to be better every day. And finally, golden tickets have been released to all teachers and licensed staff members. Students, if you are the lucky recipient of a golden ticket, congratulations. Be sure to bring it to the main office and put it in one of the boxes. Gifts for golden ticket winners will be drawn at the assembly next week on Tuesday, February 26th. Here's a preview of the gifts you could win. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Shoe. We've got our prizes, our incentives for our golden tickets. The drawing will be at our assembly on February 26th. Behind me, we have a lot of stuff going on. In addition, we've got three different $100 gift cards. Target, Best Buy, and Amazon. We've got a dinner and a movie package. We've got three apparel sets with hoodies and shirts from a skate shop. We've got a full skateboarding deck. We've got a pair of free shoes from Runner's Roost. In addition, we've got a gift card to Famous Dave's, Jason's Deli, two gift cards over to King Chef for $50 each. Uh, we've got three different prize packages to Sky Socks or uh, the Rocky Mountain Vibes as they are now called. We also have a couple of different Beats incentives, the wireless headphones and a pillbox. 
We got a one terabyte Spider-Man package PS4. We've got a 43 inch screen TV, LED TV, and not pictured here. We also have a game experience from the Colorado Springs Switchbacks. Guys, we have three more prizes uh, that we forgot to mention just briefly. Don't forget, you get an opportunity to get a free set of prom tickets, a yearbook, and there's a custom Colorado flag that is made specifically for a wide field. And there is a package for painting with the twist. So those of you who are more on the crafty side, this will cater to you. So guys, continue to demonstrate power, and thanks for all that you do to make Widefield an amazing place. That's all we have for you today, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.